So energy is a really important topic in biology because all living things or organisms need it. The question that I want to answer in this video is why do living things need energy? Let's take a look. Well, if we're going to answer the question, why do living things need energy? What we need to understand is what energy is. So let's look at this question. We've all heard of energy before, but what is energy? Well, a simple way to describe energy is the capacity to do work. Think about it for your own definition of energy. If you have lots of energy, then you're able to do lots of work. If you don't have much energy, then you're not going to be able to do much work. And that's the simple description. It's the type of work for different living things or different levels of living things that we're going to have a look at. But that's our simple description. Energy is the capacity to do work. So if energy is the capacity to do work, what sort of work are we talking about? Well, let's look at living things, first of all, organisms. What do organisms need energy for? Well, organisms need energy for growth. They need energy for movement. Also for reproduction and for repair and maintenance. They're probably the four major headings that we could use to describe what living things or organisms need energy for. Growth, movement, reproduction, repair and maintenance. Think of any living thing and you'll be able to say that yes, they need to be able to do those four things. So I'm sure you would agree that those four things there are essential for a living thing. And therefore, because energy is needed for those four things, energy is essential to maintain life for any organism. So the next thing that we can look at is, well, if organisms need energy for those four things, what do their building blocks need? The building blocks for living things are cells. What do living cells need energy for? Well, actually, you can fit that under those exact same four headings. Living cells need energy for growth. And let's think about that individually. So growth, well, the sorts of growth we would think about at a cellular level Cells, yes, they do grow, lots of them grow in size, but also the growth that we're talking about is the sorts of things happening inside of the cell. Things like synthesis of proteins and carbohydrates and lipids and DNA replication, all of that making of new molecules is a type of growth. And movement, the cell itself can move in some cases, so the whole cell movement, but also movement of things within the cell. That's a type of movement that needs energy for a cell. Reproduction, yes, cells do reproduce. They divide through processes like mitosis or binary fission or meiosis as well. So those types of cell divisions require energy and that's a type of reproduction. And then repair and maintenance. Well, mainly for a cell, we're looking at maintenance and we know that the maintenance of a stable internal environment is really important. We need to maintain the correct concentration balances of particular chemicals. The, the right pH level, the optimum temperature, um, the osmotic balance, and all of those different things need to be maintained. Well, maintaining those requires energy, especially where processes that are active are involved, like endo and exocytosis, or active transport. So living cells need energy, and it can be placed under those exact same four categories. And that's why energy is so essential for living things. Because after all, all living things are made of cells and cells need energy for those four key things. 
So hopefully that answers the question for you on why living things need energy. The next part is to think about where the energy comes from. Well, energy is obtained in either a physical or a chemical form from the cell's environment. The physical form of energy that we're talking about is sunlight. It's got the sun there to remind you of that. The chemical form of energy that we're talking about are complex organic compounds, such as glucose. Just bring in glucose here. C6H12O6, that's our glucose molecule. So energy is obtained from the cell's environment in either the physical form or the chemical form. And only certain types of cells can harness that physical form of energy and transform it into the chemical form of energy. That's going to be looked at in the next video called What is Photosynthesis? There's also videos on what is aerobic respiration and what is fermentation or anaerobic respiration. Check those out for some more info. So those videos on photosynthesis, aerobic respiration and fermentation are going to give you some more info about the energy transformations that occur within the cell. And just before you watch those three, check out the next video called Food Chains autotrophs and heterotrophs that should put into context the type of energy transformations that occur within cells and in which type of organisms they occur. So that's been this video on why living things need energy. Hope that it's been able to help you out. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time. In all of my videos I use information and material from the Biology Levels of Life textbook, workbook and teaching notes. If you want any information on how to get hold of these, just leave a comment below or email me on jeremy.s.lacornu at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe if you want regular updates on my new videos. And as always, thanks so much for your support and positive feedback. I'm really glad that my videos are helping you.